by some sheer miracle, you already know the blower works, but as last we left off with that, it would only come out of the windshield vents and that was it, no matter where you would put the control here. Well, the other day it was really hot out and I said, well, let me just turn it on, maybe it's better than nothing. And here's what happened. It turns on. And then I heard that pop and I said, oh shit, something broke. And then I said, wait a minute, there's air coming out of the vents. And here too, there's air coming out and that one there. And I tried moving the selector around and if I put it over the heater, you heard a clunk, the vents shut off over here and it comes out the windshield and by the floor, there's some vents down there. If I put it back, you get that clunk and it shifts and it goes. Although the AC does not work, if I put it to recirculate, you can certainly hear a difference. See? And that keeps it on vent. And if I shut it, there's that clunk and it's reset. Turn it back on, no air, it opens, clunk, and there's all the air right there. Now, it got colder in the morning and I had to move the car because we were gonna mow. And when I did that, it did not wanna do that clunk and open fully. So something is jamming up somewhere and it certainly doesn't sound healthy with that clunk. When I waited till later in the day when it got warmer out, then I tried it and it opened and did everything it was supposed to. So I have no idea what the hell that's about, but it actually works now when it's hot out. When it's cold out, it's gonna be stuck on the windshield and floor which is fine, because that's what I would need in the winter anyway. And I guess it'll have to work that way, unless anybody knows where I should look or anything. I know it's, yeah, it's under the dash, I know. But where? There's nothing that I could just reach up and, and see. You know, so if anybody knows if it's a total pain in the ass or what, I'd appreciate knowing. The other thing is, the heat now works. I played a hunch the other day. If you can hear me, the hunch was that this vacuum line, which was just sort of hanging right over here, probably went somewhere. And where's that somewhere? I noticed an actuator over here. And now you see there's a hose on it. There was no hose before. And I said, I bet you that hose went to there. Well, it turns out I decided to try it. The black hose you see was given to me by the guy that did the windshield on the car. He bought some tubing to try to fix the windshield squirters, but it was the wrong size, and he just gave me the roll of tubing just to have. So I said, oh, I wonder if it'll fit that. And I stuck it on there, and lo and behold, it did. Now, if you look, this is some sort of heater hose. And this is a heater hose as well. So I said, I bet something's gotta happen with that to get heat in the car. So I said, well, let me try hooking it up. Worst case, it won't work. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. But the problem was this tubing, I couldn't shove in. So haphazardly, I just used this, which is a drip irrigation coupler. It was just right to fit. When I put this hose onto that, it split again. So this hose is definitely bad. But where it goes, um, right. Yeah, don't wanna look, don't wanna dig around. And it's kinda sorta working, so we'll leave it alone. So that's the repair, just by using an extension piece of hose and getting in there. And now I'll show you how it works.
Well, rats, I thought that my temperature tester thingy was hanging here. Oh, it is. It is here. It's just hiding behind other junk. See, that's why I didn't want to do that. But it's here. I'll have to put it in a more opportune place next time. Okay, engine has some temperature to it. We'll test the vent now. And, uh, what was that all? 96 degrees, something like that, 97. It's hot, like I said. Put the lever over to warmer. The sound changes. My battery is crapping out on this. But here we go. Just a minute, wait for it. It's hot, I can certainly feel it. There, it's going up. I gotta put a new battery in this thing, but it's otherwise there. 103, 104. It feels a thousand degrees hotter, so I don't know what it was measuring before. Let's put it back and let it cool off for a minute. I'll try it one more time. Now it says it's 90 something. Hundred and ten, hundred and thirteen. So it's moving up. Let's see if we get anything else out of here. I guess I'll come in this way. Yeah, hundred and twenty. We're getting heat. It absolutely works now. And I can shift it to heater. Plunk. And there it is. Now it comes out the floor and the windshield vents. <clears throat> or I can switch back this way. If the AC works, you know, I could run it there too. I could leave it there, run it on recirculate. Obviously the AC doesn't work, so it doesn't matter. And I kind of don't need the heat now. Uh, I don't really know the function of the defrost lever. That doesn't seem to do anything yet. But the blower works. It shifts between where it's supposed to. And the heat works now. Slowly but surely. We're coming on, whoopsies, we're coming on a year later now, and things are starting to come together. Clunk, and that's it. The clock does not work, but it has moved since I originally got it. So it like tries to sometimes work, but usually won't. I'm not concerned about that. Most analog clocks and cars this old just don't work, and it's fact of the matter. So anyway, slowly but surely, things are coming along. Now the brakes are fixed. It's got new plugs. It's got new oil in it. The heat works. The blower works. It's just between all the modes. Still got to get the turn signal fixed, because that kind of does that, and the other way doesn't do anything and the thing just doesn't stay. This way it goes, but it doesn't cancel when you turn the wheel. And that's it. So, we're working on it. You know, things are coming along, slowly but slowly. They're coming along. I also fixed one other thing on the car, or found out that it works. It's more finding out it works, really, is what it was. Uh, but that'll be the subject of the next video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you at another Buick video tomorrow. Bye-bye.